The following is a presentation of TFNN. Live at TFNN, the Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Now, the author of The Path of Least Resistance and the Tech Insider, David White. And welcome all to a beautiful November 13th here at the headquarters of Technical Trading and Investing at TFNN.com. Of course, uh, we're having a very interesting day out here. Uh, market uh, was decidedly lower. Uh, we are now, uh, let me update this just to make sure I've got everything else out there. Um, decidedly lower. Look like we should probably uh, find uh, a uh, lower price by the end of the day, but the market kind of turned around. Um, this is, I don't think, a whole lot more than uh, a lot of uh, juicing options during expiration. Uh, the volume certainly isn't uh, showing that we're coming in with any kind of strength uh, back out the high once again. Uh, just a little over uh, 2 billion shares as we start the show off today. But uh, keep a close eye on it. There's a few stocks out here. Um, I started adding a bunch of uh, stocks the last couple of days, and I'm pretty much all holding in there. Uh, I've got one troublesome one, but uh, yeah, there's always going to be that one out of probably six trades uh, that didn't go your way. Uh, so I'll be watching that uh, during the show. So if I seem to wander off the reservation for a little while, it's probably I'm watching that one position uh, that looks like to me that it could be uh, troublesome for me. Uh, but uh, other than that, uh, not a lot to, happening out here. Kind of a quiet day, low volume day uh, for what most people think is some kind of reversal. I just don't see a, a great deal in this move so far other than holding this market up and of course uh, we'll get into the discussion on why they will at least for the or try to in the next couple of days. Today was the first day of high frequency traders uh, and of course that happened in 1878. Uh, this was the first day telephones were installed in the trading floors in the New York Stock Exchange and this gave a tremendous advantage because everybody had their offices fairly close, but it was almost all teletype. Uh, in fact, it was all teletype and tickers. Uh, this was the first day that you could pick up a phone, talk to somebody in the office, get the order, have it back down to the floor in 30 seconds. Uh, and in, 19, in 1878, that was super high frequency trading because if you were somewhere else other than within a couple of blocks of Broad and uh, Wall Street, you probably... Uh, uh, took 30 minutes or an hour to actually stick in an order and probably a day to find out whether or not it actually ex executed. Um, this was just two years after Alexander Graham Bell invented the telephone and said, come here, Watson. But uh, today, when we really think about it, it's been a never-ending war of faster and faster trading. Uh, but uh, probably the first shot across the bow uh, this day in 1878. In 1929, uh, the market, the stock market hit its low for the year uh, as the Dow slumped uh, to 198.69, off from its yearly high of 311.90. Can you imagine that? Uh, let's see, what was it? Uh, Mid October, now we're in November. Uh, the thing, uh, uh, yeah, September 3rd. Uh, hit its high and, of course, today made its low in 1929, uh, about 30% off. <laughs> Talk about a haircut. <laughs> but it's always interesting because uh, what's happened before will happen again. So it's always uh, necessary to think about uh, the history, not only the history of uh, the world, but the history of the market. In 1998 today, uh, the dot-com bubble got started. And this was the Internet gold rush in full swing. The globe.com, I don't know how many people have been around this long, uh, but uh, it is just that, which is uh, this was the first real huge stock that catapulted and found the retail investor uh, playing the market uh, via the Internet and really uh, driving it. Uh, came out at his initial 
price point of uh, nine bucks a share that morning. Uh, it went to a high of 97. I think it actually um, came out uh, like 15 bucks or something. Um, was the first trade. Uh, traded high is $97 before closing at 6350 uh, a record gain first day of 606%. Uh, although it was losing $11.5 million uh, on just $2.7 million in revenues uh, in that year. And, of course, that's this is pretty late in the year uh, to already know that you are a giant loser with 2.7 million shares. So the beanie baby trade had really uh, gone already in uh, 98, gone full tilt boogie out here. Uh, it was just a few short years later, uh, April 23rd in 2001, where it was delisted from the NASDAQ and went bankrupt, uh, I think, just a couple weeks later. But uh, just uh, this is always an interesting period. Uh, where we're getting right in front of Thanksgiving, and then we've got a couple of weeks in the first uh, part of December, uh, and then the market has a tendency to go up about a percent and a half uh, over about 14 trading days uh, that is just miserable for shorts, miserable for longs, and uh, I'm planning my vacation starting the week before uh, Christmas and uh, coming back probably the 5th of January, probably the best time for a trader uh, to get lost and out of town. So uh, we'll be looking at that too. Uh, other things of interest out here, um, uh, WebMD up strongly today, uh, up about 8%. Uh, pretty interesting though, uh, I thought that the, the news that had come out this morning, um, and maybe it'll still hit uh, this today. I thought it would catch, uh, but uh, WebMD had been really talking up Obamacare for some time uh, and uh, having events with uh, the uh, Human Services Secretary. Uh, they had never disclosed that they were getting a ton of money, $45 million for doing just about damn near nothing. And uh, it was uh, or is a clear payoff uh, to echo the sentiments of the White House uh, but uh, the reaction to this is totally different than I thought it would be. Uh, if I was a viewer reader of WebMD and, and didn't know who was paying them, uh, I would uh, be a little concerned. But uh, uh, certainly WebMD is uh, uh, not uh, uh, reacting the way that I thought it would. Uh, maybe they're just glad that it's making any money. $45 million for doing nothing, probably not a bad day at WebMD. Um, there was a great interview, well, not a lot of them out there these days, but there was a, a great interview on CNBC yesterday. Um, Andrew uh, Huzar uh, worked at the Fed, uh, wrote an opinion piece that was in the Wall Street Journal yesterday. And uh, uh, it's actually, it starts off and says, I'm sorry, which means that we have to play our I'm sorry theme song. I'm sorry, so sorry, that I was such a Yes, he said he was a fool and uh, got into it. Uh, uh, but uh, a couple of clips that I took out of about a six-minute interview that I thought were rather... Uh, telling about what somebody inside the Fed does. He wasn't a Fed president. Uh, his job was to buy all those uh, uh, treasuries and sell bonds and uh, put together a, a trillion-dollar package. And uh, he's coming out now and saying, uh, I'm pretty sorry. Uh, the whole thing didn't do much, and uh, I should have known in advance. But uh, here's one of the little... Uh, uh, and clips. let's be honest, 50 percent of Americans don't own a stock, right? So, so uh, this idea, there's a certain amount of trickle-down monetary policy involved here, and, and there's a real question as to whether that that's works compared to the huge costs that the, that the program has. Anyway, he got into why he thinks the tapering should happen fairly quickly, and that is the huge cost compared to any of the actual benefits. Uh, I think they've gotten the market off, off the floor. That's not an issue. It's now uh, driving uh, business uh, 
uh, and hiring, and uh, little of what they do here does any of that, uh, according to him. Uh, one of the other uh, panelists on there, and I forget which one it is, I think they call him Beeks, um, said this, and I'm gonna, I had to just record this and put it down because uh, it just seemed apropos and uh, what was going on uh, in the marketplaces or probably in the last year or so. The stock market has basically said, because of QE, we are never going to have another recession again. That's what's implicit right. in what's going on in the stock market. And can you, is there a better way to sum up exactly what is going on in the market now? That is, th there is zero chance that we'll ever have another recession because uh, the Fed, if this did work, would always just uh, wave the magic uh, QE uh, flag, and of course, uh, any recession would magically go away. Uh, we know, I think at least any human with a brain knows uh, that if that always worked, they'd continue to do it and eventually it wouldn't work anymore. Uh, kind of like uh, using uh, or overusing uh, a lot of uh, drugs and now they become uh, disease resistant after time. I imagine that uh, our markets would become uh, resistance to QE if it indeed worked. He has a pretty good idea that they don't and went through a litany of uh, different uh, uh, reasons why quantitative easing really didn't do much for the immense uh, job uh, the cost of this program. Uh, but probably in closing, this was the most important thing I had, I think he said. 0.2% of banks uh, control 70% of assets in this country. And if you missed that, he said point, P-O-I-N-T. 0.2% of banks control 70% of all assets. Uh, he said that it's ridiculous to believe uh, that uh, there are banks, uh, that almost all the banks out there uh, that are the, of that 0.2% are too big to fail. He says uh, when you have that few of people uh, controlling that much amount of money, uh, that uh, you've got to figure that uh, they may be too big to fail, but they fail, they probably will. Uh, just too much uh, in one hand. That's kind of like asking one guy who should be president. Uh, probably just as it's not going to work out over the long term. You'd like that spread out just a little bit uh, farther around. But uh, eh, I digress. And, of course, this is the digressing show of all shows on TFNN. Um, he said, I'm sorry, America is a former uh, Federal Reserve uh, official. I was responsible for executing the centerpiece program of the Fed's first plunge into the bond buying experiment known as quantitative easing. The central bank continues to spend QE as a tool for helping Main Street, but I've come to recognize the program for what it really is, the greatest backdoor Wall Street bailout of all time. Um, that's pretty much it. Oh, we're going to break. Andy Hecht, the host of the Commodities Hour, recently launched his newsletter service, the Technomental Commodity Report, and only six weeks in, Andy has already recorded a triple-digit winner. Andy advised his subscribers to purchase a long-term call option at 46 cents on July 11th, and then sent out a special update Friday, August 16th, advising his subscribers to close that position at $1.40. That's a 204% profit in just five weeks. The Technomental Commodity Report by Andy Hecht is released each Thursday morning, and right now you can get a month-long free trial to this subscription while locking in the low introductory rate of only $39 a month. Andy Hecht has been a commodities trader for over three decades. Let his experience work for you. Sign up for your month-long free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report today at TFNN.com. 
with the launch of Tiger TV. TFNN has brought our programming to the next level. With Tiger TV, you can gain access to each host's charts and computer screens as they host their daily stock program. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, David White, Larry Pesavento, Andy Hecht, Victor Jones, or Daryl Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV for your viewing pleasure 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't checked out Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com and see what you're missing. You take a hands-on approach to managing your investment strategy. You're always looking for the next trading opportunity to magnify your perspective. Direction Shares connects sophisticated traders with a powerful array of ETFs from a wide range of asset classes. The markets may go up and down, and you want tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Wouldn't it be great if you could get a red light, green light indicator that gives you signals on 25 different futures contracts? Now you can with Taz Signal Box. This red light, green light market profile system dynamically updates 24 hours a day and provides you with important trend and trade signals on nine different commodities, nine different indices, and eight different currencies. Right now you can receive a two-week free trial to Taz Signal Box. For all the details and to find out how the Signal Box works, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Dave, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. And as we come back, you can always give me a call. It's 877-927-6648, 877-927-6648. Uh, just uh, going back through uh, Andrew Hazar's, I think I left out an S there. Uh, by virtue of reflating the markets, we've potentially taken the emphasis out of breaking up what is ultimately a banking cartel in the United States. Uh, probably true, but uh, interesting nonetheless uh tuesday today or yeah actually yesterday uh the four ipos that made it out in the market put uh the uh, 2013 total at 199 ipos this year and uh we're only slightly behind uh the uh, 2000 ipo uh, and 1999 ipo records uh if you want any belief uh, that uh, we're probably at uh, some kind of bubblicious high. Uh, watching the amount of IPOs being pushed out is one thing. Uh, we also see a bunch of IPOs that have been pushed out, uh, 14 this week, uh, of which about seven are going to probably fall by the wayside and not make it out the door. A good indication that the uh, quality of IPOs uh, or the money is uh, in a short supply I'm not exactly sure which is worse uh, for the markets, but uh, either one of them probably a good indication uh, that we're seeing uh, very few of these IPOs make it out the door. A lot of them, 
we talked about Eros, which is the Indian movie uh, company. Um, I think they were supposed to come out at 18 bucks. It's going to come out at something like 13 bucks. Uh, a lot of these uh, being a very weak. There's a couple are going to come out tomorrow, and I suspect we probably see the same kind of sell-off once again that we saw uh, as soon as Twitter made it out. Uh, they're doing everything they can to hold this market up, get a last a few of these IPOs out the door. I have a feeling they think it's going to be a long time before we start seeing these same kind of IPOs, especially with the changes in the law uh, and uh, being able to uh, get past um, the uh, whole issue with crowdfunding a lot of these smaller companies now uh, where you can actually have a 1,000 investors uh, is probably going to cut a lot of the venture capital fund companies off uh, in uh, uh, California. But uh, we'll keep an eye on it. But uh, a lot of IPOs uh, out this year, almost always uh, at highs in the market. Uh, Crocs. Uh, Crocs had a, about a $1 a bump today. Uh, these are the people that make the uh, wonderful uh, plastic shoes that I think are, uh, oh, I've always thought that they were kind of, yeah, just, I never liked them, let me put it that way. Um, my favorite video on YouTube, uh, if you do uh, Crocs and uh, search for turtle, uh, you will find what a turtle thinks of Crocs. Uh, it is rather amorous, to uh, say the least. Anyway, they're exploring strategic options. Got a nice bounce out of it today. Uh, but uh, basically they had to say that they couldn't come to terms with uh, several other companies that were wanting to buy them. Uh, the option that they could get out the, the door and uh, maybe even be worth a little bit more than they were trading uh, for this morning, probably all that really mattered in the marketplace. Uh, Living Social, we've talked about Groupon I think last week. Uh, Groupon uh, in a real fight to stay above 10 bucks. Uh, so they can distribute as much stock as possible uh, before it goes back under uh, 10 bucks to uh, funds and uh, such. Got a little shot in the arm. Uh, it's been about uh, 23 hours now. Uh, its website and mobile apps have stopped working. Uh, properties have been down in the U.S. Uh, for almost a whole day. And, of course, the only real company uh, fighting Groupon, uh, Groupon's model was always flawed. Uh, they vowed never to take less than 30%. Uh, of the deal, that's down to about 10 or 15 percent uh, because they've had to contend with competing with Living Social uh, and uh, Google Plus and a lot, everybody could get in. There was really no barrier to entry for what Groupon was doing. Uh, Living Social, uh, a lot of people liked it better than Groupon uh, because the icky CEO that uh, left a uh, big stain like a snail everywhere he went uh, but uh, still a issue with uh, uh, them not working at all. Um, uh, remnants of uh, the Obamacare website. Anyway, uh, one whole day. We normally, you don't see that in, in uh, companies. But the uh, question is if there's something bigger afoot going on at Living Social. Anyway, uh, you can always give me a call at 877-927-6648. That's 877-927-6648. And uh, we'll be back on the other side and start going through some stocks. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock in option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com.
No matter where you listen to TFNN programming, we want you to know you can always access your favorite shows on demand through TFNN.com. TFNN airs live programming every market day from 9 a.m. till 6 p.m. Eastern. And you can view each program by accessing Tiger TV through our homepage. We even have an easy link for all mobile devices, including iPhones and iPads, located at the top right-hand corner of the TFNN homepage. You can use your smartphone to view Tiger TV, but if you don't have a mobile connection that can keep up with streaming live video, then you can simply visit TFNN.MOBI in the browser of your smartphone for live streaming audio of all of our programs. The mission of TFNN is to educate our audience directly and interactively through our interactive website and radio call and talk shows. TFNN is able to teach all levels of investors the technical skills skills needed to trade in today's marketplace. In order to get the best information possible, TFNN has assembled the most respected financial minds in the country to provide the most current news and comprehensive advice available. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's n a d e x.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. It's that time of year again and our semi-annual Tiger Dollar sale is back. For a limited time only, you can get a 25% bonus on any Tiger Dollar purchase, and included in your purchase, you'll gain access to an exclusive four-hour live trading event with Tom O'Brien on November 19th called Strategies for Trading ETFs, a live trading event. The only way to gain access to this exclusive four-hour workshop with Tom O'Brien, which includes live trading, is by purchasing Tiger Dollars as part of this promotion. Tiger Dollars can be used for any TFNN products and never expire, so now is a perfect time to get your 25% bonus. Don't delay. This will be our last Tiger Dollar promotion in 2013, so act today. For all the details and to get your 25% bonus on your Tiger Dollar purchase today while gaining access to Tom O'Brien's exclusive four-hour online workshop and live trading session specifically on ETFs, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. This segment is brought to you by Harmony Gold. For more information, just click the Harmony Gold banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And as we come back, uh, you can give me a call at 877-927-6648. Um, looking at uh, some of the stocks that are moving, um, although we've had a fairly decent market uh, move up, uh, the question is all about where it closes. We'll talk about more of that as the show progresses. But uh, uh, for the most part, I'm looking at this move out here as a lot more to do with uh, uh, the options expiration uh, and trying to hold this market up for IPOs than a lot much uh, than really anything else. Uh, with a, the incredibly light volume we have, uh, let me update this now, but I think we're still less than 2.3 billion shares on the consolidated, yeah, still 2.2 uh, billion shares on the consolidated New York Stock Exchange tape. So uh, this is going to be the lightest test of the top that we had unless something drastically changes before the end of the day. So I'm not going to get too excited about uh, any uh, upside on the market right now. Uh, we were looking at uh, Citric Systems, if you're watching on Tiger TV. Uh, it is uh, a stock that came down on monstrous volume on the 10th of October. We are now looking uh, at this thing just getting into the top and what happened today uh, was that uh, uh, Amazon la launched another new cloud product to directly go up against VMware and Citrix. Uh, this thing's, uh, of course, easily back down to the 5542 
low that we saw just on October 23rd. Uh, we talked about uh, what it is like to compete against a company that has to make no money like Amazon. And the question is, I just don't know what you do. Uh, the low was 56 at 55 uh, today, so it's got another buck to go back out and test this low. Uh, but certainly going to blow out uh, the lows, but probably in some level of consolidations. Uh, VMware was the other one. Uh, VMW. Uh, VMware, pretty good company, uh, not getting hit near as hard. They've got a lot of products uh, that, that differentiate themselves from Amazon. Uh, but uh, some of them in that same uh, area. Uh, of course, this one is pretty much bouncing off the $77, 78 range. Uh, but it uh, looks like it could probably come back down in here. Uh, I like this thing to get down to about 75 bucks. Uh, it's got uh, a nice high volume high out here that would still get tested at $90.75. So probably not a short candidate, but certainly, um, you know, if the market's decided to start crawling higher for uh, Christmas, uh, Christmas, we probably may be one to, to actually start looking at. Uh, other stocks uh, moving out here. Let's take a quick look at them. Uh, fast, which is uh, fast and all, isn't it? Uh, F A S T, fast and all. Fast and all. Uh, another company that you really need to think about how it's doing uh, because uh, they sell nuts and bolts. And if you're uh, building new houses, if you're uh, building new equipment, uh, this company is going to be doing well, at least on the industrial side of the business. Uh, things break, they have to be repaired, bolts have to be replaced. Uh, and, of course, they're always first uh, in the fastener business, which is basically the nut and bolt business. Uh, anytime you have to put two things together. Uh, this thing gapped up on fairly decent volume, but it's come down and blown that uh, away with the previous low. It's back into that uh, level out here today, but also one of the uh, bigger losers, at least on the NASDAQ today. Uh, GOLD, another one. Uh, bucking the uh, trend off a little more than 1% here today. Uh, and uh, kind of interesting that uh, we're in this consolidation range uh, with uh, gold uh, pretty much hanging right out at support uh, and uh, not giving us a lot of clue one way or the other. I still suspect that we're going to see probably the 1200 to 1180 uh, range tested once again. Uh, in gold, but uh, this is one of these things where it could break any uh, any direction. Uh, but I'm giving the odds at 50/50, uh, and uh, been waiting for a long time to buy gold, so I'm not going to trade it. I'm going to buy it, and own it. Uh, but I wanted it to to make one more test of that low out there to get the buy that probably going to be last uh, a few years, if not more than that, uh, and that'll probably be the uh, last blow off leg of gold and probably eh, a lot of people are saying 24 2500 bucks uh, it could be as high as three grand but uh, we'll find out uh okay uh, what do we have eh, gold up a buck silver off uh what uh, 20 cents uh, of course we're really kind of trying to follow up on uh, the dollar index uh it's off uh, 26 cents today so a little bit of back and fill on the dollar but uh $80 on the dollar index looked fairly decent. Uh, let's see what else we have out here uh, selling off. Well, those are the ones probably uh, selling off the strongest. Uh, the ones that are probably the highest have the shortest, uh, highest short interest. Um, Sears Holding, the, uh, the uh, Church of Perpetually uh, Short. Uh, one day this thing will have the wheels fall off the wagon. Uh, but it uh, doesn't look like it. today is it. But a fairly decent pattern uh, showing that this thing, uh, the next close under a 3x3 uh, three three or 9-day uh, moving average would probably uh, be the long-term short signal. This thing's going into its 1.6 million share high of October 1st uh, with, uh, yeah, it's 66 bucks. Uh, it hasn't quite made it there. It's been pushing. Uh, with this kind of volume, though, yesterday, 840,000 shares, just half the volume. And, of course, today, 
uh, under 500,000 shares. Uh, it would not surprise me at all if this market rolled over. That, that would be the end of it. Uh, Sears Holdings would be headed back to about 39 bucks. Uh, I don't know if you can even get shares of Sears Holdings to short. It's one of these stocks where they're asking for a premium to actually get shares too short in any kind of quantity. Um, it's just, uh, it's kind of like Best Buy, or not Best Buy, but RIM uh, or BlackBerry. You know it's going broke. The question is when. And uh, they'll probably wipe out all the shareholders, and maybe bondholders will be lucky enough to get 30 cents on the dollar, but uh, it's uh, unclear how long it's going to take. Uh, they keep milking uh, the life of blood out of these companies, and it's going to be tough. Uh, other stocks of interest out here, uh, Priceline, PCLN. And uh, Priceline, uh, what do we have out here? This uh, kind of interesting uh, move up here to the top. This thing is uh, what you would call breaking out, if you could call it that. Uh, you need a little over a million shares. We got about 570,000 so far today. Uh, just doesn't look to me like any good sign of strength. We could have one or two days. Uh, but a pullback in below, uh, probably what's the high out here of that day? Uh, probably just a little under a thousand dollars or eleven hundred bucks would probably be everything Priceline uh, needed to put in at least a uh, higher trading range. It would probably take it between that eleven hundred dollar range and uh, just under a thousand. Uh, but uh, eh, it'll be interesting. The future's fading just a little bit, maybe a point or two out here over the last uh, segment, but uh, not a whole lot coming in that really would tell me. Uh, that we need to find a lot else going on. Uh, we've been talking about nat gas out here uh, for a while. Uh, UNG's uh, off a little bit again. Uh, one of the stocks that I've always liked playing and made some big money on uh, was Ivanhoe Energy. It is a nat gas play uh, on the most side. Uh, but uh, this thing is one of the few stocks out here in this sector uh, that uh, can be almost considered a uh, never expiring, unless they go bankrupt, uh, option on natural gas. Uh, right now, uh, we are under the last low on this. But uh, if you were looking for a lottery ticket on natural gas, you'd probably want to keep an eye on this. Uh, making a nice little doji out here today. Uh, I-V-A-N is the symbol on this thing. It's been around for a while. I've played it a few times. Uh, and uh, well, let's see if we can go back and get a longer look at this thing. Um, you know, at one time it was 11 bucks back on uh, in uh, 2011, uh, down to 50 cents. Um, but uh, let's see if I can get even longer out here on this thing. Uh, there's the double top. Yeah, I bought it. I bought it somewhere back in this uh, 2008 range uh, for the first time. This thing had a huge move off of 90 cents. Uh, I think I sold it somewhere. Uh, yeah, I think I say sold it somewhere in the four buck range. Of course, it went up to eleven dollars. And 60, uh, 67 cents, but a real personality stock out here. And it's had, uh, what, uh, almost a year to consolidate out at these lower levels. Uh, may even take a little bit more time out here. But uh, if we started seeing some really wicked winter weather coming this way, uh, where the, uh, a lot of nat ga natural gas would start being used, um, this is one of the stocks that I always look at. So uh, uh, keep an eye on it. Nat gas not doing all that well, of course. Uh, at least the UNG is off 38 cents again today. Uh, but uh, uh, it looks to me like just how cheap can natural gas get? Uh, pretty darn free right at the moment. Uh, and uh, cheap enough right now to even hurt uh, the production of uh, nuclear power systems across at least the United States, not in uh, China or the Far East. But uh, yeah, what can you say? Uh, there was another one I wanted to look at. We talked about uh, uh, this one uh, what, last week or so. Uh, I thought this thing was in a trading range. We got the bounce out of here today, uh, and that's pretty much it. This thing uh, spiked up on a huge volume on the uh, 2nd of August. 
uh, with a 7.5 million shares. Got back into this gap on October 9th with 4.4 million shares and yesterday with 2.1 million shares. This one was in my uh, daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, this morning. And if you were looking for a nice little play out here off uh, uh, lows or a bounce of the lows, uh, certainly you could see that. But uh, uh, interestingly enough, um, I'm still thinking uh, broadly that the market is short, uh, but there are probably better shorts out here to be had. Let's see a look at it. Uh, BBBY. Uh, BBBY. Uh, Bed, Bath & Beyond. This thing had kind of been uh, taking a little hit over the last uh, week or so uh, before the nice move up here. Uh, but what you do have today is yet another test of a high with a whole lot of volume and uh, not being able to hold it, at least so far today. Uh, last high uh, in this price range was August 6th. Uh, and uh, interestingly enough, uh, $78.25, 1.8 million shares. Uh, we're, you know, we blew through that today with 4.3 million shares already today. Uh, or actually, uh, what was that, 4.3 million shares on the 26th. So we're back up at this level today. Uh, but today, only 1.4 million shares. So you really have to be uh, looking uh, at that context of 1.8 to 1.4. Uh, you had kind of a, a one-day reversal signal up here on the 26th of September, and that's where all the volume came in. And this thing has been moving sideways since. One more attempt to push at these highs. But again, not a lot of volume, 1.4 million shares. When we go back uh, to the... Uh, uh, let's go ahead and update the uh, uh, market. You know, pulling back a point or two on the S&P, but really what I'm looking at here, uh, 1773 uh, on the S&P cash uh, is the volume, and that is just, it's pathetic. 2.3 billion shares. We're just not doing any volume. Every time we come up here, uh, the volume turns to vapor. And there's just not a lot of push up here. Uh, I wanted to talk about a, a few other stocks. Uh, oh, I probably need to do that. I got a minute and a half. Uh, that is uh, 3D stocks. Uh, and uh, interestingly enough, let me see if I can find it here. I can't remember where I put it. Um, wanted to look at DDD. Interestingly enough, this is one of the few times I've seen a stock. Uh, go to uh, highs like this and see the uh, CEO and chairman start selling uh, shares. Uh, the chairman, uh, Walter Lowenbaum, disclosed he sold 80,000 shares on Monday, uh, still owns 1.2 uh, million shares. Uh, but uh, my word, talk about selling and ticking the top. I think this guy may have done it. Uh, but we're starting to see that kind of activation by other uh, folks. We're seeing some other problems. Uh, in this space. Uh, X1 is another one. Uh, when you see a company without a lot of money getting rid of its CFO or having problems, uh, it's always best to come back and take a look at it. Of course, uh, uh, we, uh, we were short this one in the newsletter and uh, made some decent wood on this. Uh, retracements out here. This thing pretty much uh, did uh, exactly what we were looking for, which is uh, just a little over a, uh, now let me click it one more time this way, uh, just right up to a 50% retracement. Uh, yeah, it's uh, just a little over it out here. Anyway, we'll be back in a minute. Uh, give us a call, 877-927-6648. Patterns, profits, and peace of mind. Are you looking for a precision edge in the market? Something that can stack the odds in your favor? Then look into Larry Pesavento's trading newsletter. Patterns, profits, and peace of mind. In each weekly issue, Larry explains what's going to happen in the markets based on the pattern he sees developing and gives you actionable trade ideas based on those patterns. Plus, you'll get his detailed analysis on a variety of markets and sectors, including stocks, treasury bonds, the gold market, oil, the dollar, the forex market, and more. 
you'll get access to all the patterns Larry is seeing in the markets, plus the Astro Harmonics and powerful Bradley stock market model that Larry utilizes for less than $5 a day. An extremely potent combination that will give you the edge you've been looking for. Try patterns, profits, and peace of mind absolutely free for two full weeks. That's an $85 value. Yours free when you register right now. Get Larry's patterns, profits, and peace of mind. And get the edge you've been looking for. Have you subscribed to The Gold Report yet? On Wednesday, August 14th and Thursday, August 15th, Tom O'Brien advised his Gold Report subscribers to close out six of their nine open positions, all winning trades ranging from a 10.69% profit to an incredible 48% profit in just one equity. Tom O'Brien brings an incredible wealth of knowledge and experience to the gold market and the equities within the industry. That's almost 12 years since this powerful newsletter first began. And right now, you can get a 30-day free trial to the Gold Report by visiting TFNN.com. Make sure you're a subscriber as this volatile gold market makes its way back into positive territory after declining all the way from $1,900 to under $1,200 an ounce in only two years. Get your 30-day free trial today by visiting TFNN.com. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. What's the one thing that pulls people back from the breakthrough that they're moving towards? What's the only thing that really stops people from taking action? You and I both know the answer, and sure, we can come up with the reasons why we're not where we want to be, but the only reason that we don't do more with our life is fear. Or if you're an overachiever, call it stress. Simply put, there's something that happened to us in our past that's holding us back from the life we deserve, yet you and I are okay, we're here. So why should we let our past control our future? Exactly. We shouldn't. Hi. I'm Steve Rhodes with TFNN.com, and when it comes to your trading and investing, I can help you overcome your fear of loss. Together, we'll turn weakness into strength with a system I've developed called Mastering Probability. I'll teach you how to make your money work harder for you than you do for it. I'll teach you the tools that provide financial freedom. Go to the homepage of TFNN.com, click on my name, Steve Rhodes, and begin your journey of mastering probability risk-free. It's time to become a pioneer of your future versus a prisoner of your past. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. And as we come back, I wanted to remind you that you've got just a few scant short days left to get in on the Tiger Dollar experience. Yes, it's not just a great promotion. It's an experience. And I don't know what you're going to do if you're going to get in your car and then well, maybe tomorrow morning and you're going to feel the cold touch of the steering wheel or uh, turn on the windshield wipers. You're going to do something and you're going to know that it's time not to waste any more time, not put it off another day, but sign up for that Tiger Dollars promotion by going to the front page of TFNN and getting that 25% off on all the goods and services that TFNN sells. Of course, you're also going to be able to get a wonderful uh, webinar with Tom O'Brien uh, if you sign up also. So uh, check out the front page of TFNN.com for all the groovy details out there. So anyway, we're going to try to finish it up. Uh, volume... Uh, Boy, I tell you what, I almost feel like we're waiting for the Fed to come out with 
minutes or notes as low as the volume has been uh, over the last couple of hours. Uh, just uh, uh, eh, very interesting out here. It's uh, uh, you know we're up six points on the S and P cash. Uh, 2.35 billion shares on the consolidated New York Stock Exchange tape. Uh, if we were going to be breaking out here, you'd like to see, I don't know, four and a half, five, six billion shares. Uh, 2.35 just makes me think uh, we're just marking time either to get these last stinky IPOs out the door or maybe even just into Friday for expiration. Uh, options are showing maybe 20, 30 points lower out here. I thought we'd probably get it most of today. Maybe we get it in the next couple of days, maybe when these IPOs go out the door uh, tomorrow. There's just not, not that much left out here. Uh, certainly options for next month are pointing decidedly lower. And uh, I guess that's probably because uh, era, as we get closer and closer, there's going to be more distribution uh, with any kind of QE. Um, there's got to be, uh, you know, even if they don't uh, continue buying uh, the, you know, 85 billion, if they do 80 billion, any little bit of that is probably going to show in the trajectory of upward movement in the marketplace. So it's going to be tough out here. Of course, we've got the, the last little bits of earnings coming out uh, after the bell. Uh, we've got a few more things happening this week, but I don't really don't see anything that truly could move this market. Uh, and of course, uh, the question is, uh, how many people are going to go ahead and sell this year? Um, and uh, take the taxes this year um, and or start selling their losers because we really are in the midst of that period of time where we're going to see a lot of people start dumping uh, the losers and also selling their winners to offset uh, uh, any tax liabilities. Uh, and, you know, you can always rebuy it in 30 days after the beginning of the year. But certainly we're just going to start seeing that organic part of the market come in. Uh, but uh, kind of tough to see a whole lot of movement where we're down five or six points at the open. We're up six points in the afternoon. Uh, still no volume. Uh, you could make a case it's up or down, but uh, uh, just uh, the super light volume out here is troublesome. Of course, if we closed uh, back below 1770, uh, a lot of uh, fundamental char uh, chartists would uh, be saying that as a bearish signal. I discount uh, a lot of stuff going into expiration. Um, I would probably want a, a huge sell-off uh, in the last 30 minutes. I think it's probably going to give us the best indication of when everybody has decided to exit the stage left. Speaking of exiting stage left, it's time for me to wander off. And we'll be back here tomorrow. Same bat channel, same bat time. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com.